Okay, so moving on to this little guy. This is actually a beauty case, that's what it's called. And it's also from Hayes. It's just a, it's part of like a set that came with my carry-on luggage. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I keep in here. And this is basically where I keep all of my beauty products. So a beauty case is quite an appropriate title. Um, opening it up, this is what it looks like here. So what I like about this is it has um, this little separator in the middle, as you can see there. But what's special about this is you can actually remove it if you don't want it, and this will actually open up all the way. So as you can see, the separator kind of keeps it from opening up all the way, but if you remove that separator, that divider, it will actually open up so that this will like actually lie flat on a table if you want it to. But I kind of like it this way because then I can keep things kind of separated. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side here, and on the sides there's two two um, little brush pockets and I don't really keep anything in there except for a brush because a brush is very handy when you're on the plane and also when you get to your destination. Um, and then I also have my Clarisonic. I didn't bring the charger with me because um, this is fully charged. I just fully charged it the other day. So it will last me the whole time that I'm on my holiday because I'm only going to be gone for six days. So I didn't feel like bringing the charger plus it's like extra weight and I didn't really need that. I also have makeup removing wipes from Josie Marin. So these are for removing makeup but I actually also use it for my hands sometimes if I'm like in a pinch or something. Okay, so on to the good stuff. This is my Ziploc bag, my one quart Ziploc bag that has all of my liquids and all that fun stuff because I'm going to the States and because of all the TSA rules. And this is a must if you're going to be carrying liquids or creams with you. So if you're not familiar with the TSA rules, and I had to brush up on this myself, but you are allowed on your carry-on basically one Ziploc bag, a one quart Ziploc bag of liquids and each um, each bottle has to be less than 3 ounces or I think it's like 88 milliliters. I actually had to google that so I do know that 3 ounces is 88 milliliters. It's like 88 point something something but let's just round down and say 88 milliliters. So everything in here is under 3 ounces and I double checked because they can be such a hassle sometimes. So I'm going to show you what I have in here and because I'm only taking carry-on, that's why I have kind of so many things in here. If I were going to be checking in bags, I would basically put all of my liquids and creams and all that kind of stuff because that doesn't have a size limit and you can put as much as you want in there. But because I'm only bringing on carry-on luggage with me, I had to kind of shove a whole bunch of products in here. So I will show you what I have in here. The first is this um, Philosophy Purity Cleanser. So I like to use this with my Clarisonic. And this is a little sample size that I got in one of my um, beauty boxes. You know, that is one of the really great things about all the samples that I have from my beauty boxes is because when it actually came time to pick out things that would actually fit in this one quartz bag, it was very easy because I pretty much had a little mini version of something that I would like to bring with me. Um, so I guess that's one of the positives. Next is a sunscreen. It's from Neutrogena. It's the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. I really like the sunscreen and I actually have a full size of it. And I could actually bring it on my carry-on because I think the bottle is only 66 milliliters. Except it wouldn't fit in this bag because it's so like jam-packed full of stuff. So I just bought this little itty-bitty one. Um, I don't intend to be spending too much time outside. Um, so I just bought enough for my face because I always wear sunscreen on my face. But if I do end up spending a lot of time outside, I'll probably just pick up a sunscreen from a Target or something like that. Next is my Chantecaille Just Skin, and this is only 1.7 ounces, and I really wanted to bring like a tinted moisturizer with me, so this is perfect. Next is a little toothpaste, and I just got this at Walmart. It was just in like the travel section. Next is a little body wash. This is from Principessa Beauty, and this is their creamy body wash in Fresh Fior, and it smells really great, plus it's a really nice little size. It's only um, two fluid ounces, so that's great. Next is a little mini bottle of the Lancome by Facile. I wanted to take along with me one of my bottle, little bottles of um, Bioderma, except they aren't within the limit. I think they're just over the limit, so it was very unfortunate. But luckily I had this, so um, I only really need it for removing eye makeup anyway, so it's great. Next is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender, and I love this stuff. It's amazing. I really love it, especially now that I have shorter hair. Um, 
I just find that it really helps keep my hair looking the same way all throughout the day. So really, really love this stuff. I'm actually going to pick up the full size of this. Next is shampoo. So this is from Nexus. I also got this in a beauty box. Um, this is just the shampoo. They, I did have a shampoo and conditioner, but I just brought the shampoo with me. And this is actually slightly above 3 ounces. It's 89 milliliters, but I'm going to try to get away with it anyway. And if not, um, I can always just pick up shampoo when I get to my destination. Next is the Fito 9, and this is a really great conditioner for my hair. I love how it makes my hair feel. It makes it feel really nice and nourished. And that's why I didn't bring like shampoo and conditioner, because I have this with me. The next thing is the St. Ives Body Lotion, and I always, always have to have some kind of lotion with me on the plane, because you can get really dry in there, especially with the airplane air, so this is perfect. And this is only 60 milliliters. Next two things are concealer, Giorgio Armani Mask Corrector, and my Garnier Anti-Dark circle roller. These are just must-haves for me. The next thing is an eye cream and this is from YSL. It's a little sample. Um, I've tried this before and I didn't love it but I didn't hate it but I thought I would just bring it along so I could use it up. Then I have mascara, my Fairy Drops mascara. Next is the Vaseline Lip Therapy and this is in Cocoa Butter. I absolutely love this stuff and it's really moisturizing on the lips. I have a little atomizer of hand sanitizer which is a must for me also when I'm on planes because I get really germophobic on planes. Like I love riding on planes but it's just, it's not a good place germ wise. The last thing I have is two little fragrances. One is the Burberry Body and the other one is the Guerlain. The Petite Robe Noir, which is a really nice fragrance. I really like this one. Okay, so moving right along, in this middle section, in this removable divider, there's like two um, elasticized um, little compartments on both sides. On the one side, I have pens because those are just really handy to have, especially if you have to fill out any forms. In the middle section, I have my passport and also my Nexus card so that I can go through customs a little bit quicker. Um, then I have my iPad. This is basically this and my iPhone is the only technology that I'm bringing with me and I'm basically just going to use this to read blogs. <laughs> um, I don't intend on doing anything anything other than that. Um, I have two glasses. I have a pair of sunglasses and then I have a pair of my um, prescription glasses. The last thing I have in here is my makeup bag. So this is basically all the products that aren't liquids. And actually, I do have my lipsticks in here because I've never, I've never ever ever had a problem going through um, security with lipsticks in my makeup bag instead of in one of these Ziploc bags. Technically, they're cream products and you're supposed to have cream products in here, but it's like they're solid cream, so I've never, I don't know, I've just never categorized the lipsticks the same way as I would my liquids, so I've never put them in the same bag and I've never had a problem, but hopefully I didn't just drink myself. So in here I have my lipsticks, so I have a few Burberry ones, I have um, Copper and Feather Pink, and these are lip mists actually. I also have this um, Burberry Lip Velvet, and this is actually a little sample size, and this is in um, Pink Amber, number 306. I also have my Giorgio Armani Rouge d'Armani Sheer in number 301, which is like a really pretty coral. I have three brushes with me. The first one is my Chanel blush brush, number four. I have my MAC 109, and then I have my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I have an eyelash curler, so my Chanel eyelash curler. I have um, tweezers. I have hair clips, hair ties. I have this, which I have my Shiseido cotton pads in. I have a little compact mirror. I have this to just kind of hold my hair back when I'm washing my face. And then I have blushes, and I only have two, technically two blushes with me, but really I have like five blushes and a bronzer and a highlighter. Um, I have my NARS Dan Marie palette, which you guys know I love to travel with. So that's what that looks like, and that's why I didn't bring a bronzer or a highlighter, because I, there's a bronzer and a highlighter in here, and I wanted to save some space, plus the four blushes. And then I also just brought my Tarte blush in Tipsy, because... Um, that's basically the one color family that I think is missing from the NARS Damory palette. It's like a really pretty kind of bright coral. So yeah, I have that. Okay, so that is basically what I'm bringing along with me on this trip. Like I said, I'm only going to be gone for a week, so I didn't pack too excessively, I don't think. 
And yeah, I'm also going to be on a tech vacay, so I'm going to be taking a holiday from vlogging and YouTubing and all that fun stuff. I will be replying to comments as soon as I get back, which is going to be Saturday the 26th. Yeah, Saturday the 26th because I have Winterlicious plans because um, it's Winterlicious in Toronto. It starts um, on the Friday, I think, the 25th, I guess. And yeah, my first destination is Canoe and I haven't been there in a couple of years so I'm excited to go back and see how their menu has changed, if it has changed. And yeah, if you guys hadn't noticed, I have gotten my hair cut which is pretty exciting. Um, I have a vlog on it so I'll link that in the bottom bar below if you want to know more about it, like where I got it done and just how it looks and all that stuff. Okay, so that is it. I'm done rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please let me know if you guys are going on holidays anytime soon. I'd love to hear what your plans are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!